you have a number of things in professional football happening that are interesting. First of all, like we all had it before the season started, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, and Puka Nakua <laughs> are on pace to have more yards than Calvin Johnson and his single season yardage record. So three receivers are on pace to have more <laughs> yards than anyone has ever had in a season. Jamar Chase is not one of them. No. Uh, the, the Bengals do not. If you look at, based on the stat success rate, which is a great stat, Stugatz, just in name alone, never mind the formula for it, success rate for quarterbacks, you, you are obligated to love that stat. Am I? Here are your bottom quarterbacks in the league and their success rate this season. These are the bottom ones, Stugatz, starting from the top of the bottom. Okay, top of the bottom. Derek Carr is the top of the bottom in terms of success rate. Yesterday, Field Yates pointed this out. Alvin Kamara caught 13 passes yesterday out of the backfield. Do you want to guess for how many yards? 87. 33. What? The previous low for 13 catches was 71. <laughs> Do you know how pathetic your offense is when you're throwing 13 times to Alvin Kamara? And he's getting you 33 yards. I that's, know. That's, yes, you do know. I know. Yes. No one knows better. Y yes, yeah. no one knows better, actually. <laughs> Ritter is the second from the top of the bottom. Okay. Gardner Minshew, Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts is here. Huh. Bryce Young. And here's the bottom of the bottom. Joe Burrow, bottom of the bottom. Ryan Tannehill, bottom of the bottom. Zach Wilson, Bottom of the bottom, but there is someone below Zach Wilson. Want to guess? Hmm. Looking at you, Jessica. I don't want to talk is, about this it. Could no go one, no one wants to listen to the, anything about the Steelers. It's not, they're not worth mentioning. What happened to the platform. rich old lady drinking wine? Who she's so it? hammered. She's been passed out for weeks. Now Actually, I'm, I think she died of alcohol poisoning after the Raiders game. Now I'm kind of hoping it's Justin Fields just to corner you. <laughs> yes. He's not in here. He's not in <laughs> the bottom amazing. of the uh, yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, but that, well, great had first a half high. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that game. It Weird all changed game. with one move, yeah. one head coach adjustment. Do you know what it was? Cutting the sleeves off. We have to get uh, still of that to show uh, people. But that uh, none of those things, Stugatz, that I think was the biggest story of the weekend. Because you've got some stats here. Uh, Brock Purdy completed 95.2% of his passes He's yesterday. good. Yep. 20 of 21. Uh, these are these are two stats that are a little bit crazy. The 49ers have gone 30 plus points in seven straight games. Last people did that greatest show on turf. One of the greatest offenses we have ever seen. Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, uh, the greatest show on turf. Seven straight games of 30 or more. The Bears, in the history of the sport, the Bears have now allowed 14 straight games of 25 or more points. No one's ever done that. It's the longest streak in the history of scoring and, and bad defense and losing football games to allow 25 points in 14 straight games. Do you know the last time the Bears won a game? I don't either. It was so long ago. It was early in the 2022 season. It's been forever. They're a absolute dumpster fire. Their coach is probably going to get fired, it sounds like. He's completely mismanaging everything from Justin Fields to the Chase Claypool potential trade that they want to make. What's happening there? What is that? Uh, enough it's of Claypool. So bizarre. I'm tired of it's him. So, mm, it's so bizarre. So now they're saying that uh, Eberflus, like, totally mishandled this. Like, first he said that Claypool decided to stay home. Then he said that they asked him to stay home. In the meantime, if they want to trade him, they probably shouldn't be doing that. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, and They traded a second-round pick to get he him. Looks yes, the the part. Gotta, he he the looks like gotta, someone who would be good at, at receiving a football successfully he, his rookie season with the Steelers he was very good and then something went wrong also the Steelers offense has been atrocious for three years so I don't know well Pickett's who last you blame Pickett. I don't take the Bears the benefit of the doubt on the Bears coaching staff or the Steelers offensive staff uh Chase Claypool also is not blameless like he has doesn't seem like he's handled any of it very well either but it is a complete disaster and the Bears have the two top picks in next year's draft they should not be allowed to to draft those they should have to give those away it is bad and it is sad they might leave Chicago I don't know what, what the, yeah. there's a whole thing with Soldier Field they might go to Arlington Heights 
I don't know what happens. Soldier Field is an abomination to architecture and to God himself. It's sad and it's bad and everyone should feel bad. The uh, the stats are amazing, really, in terms of Jay Cutler is their best statistical quarterback ever. And Justin Jefferson already has more receiving yards than any Bears receiver <laughs> has had for a career. And now this is the most dreadful version of them. They lose to Sean Payton, who gave up 70 yesterday. They got a lead. Last a, week. A big lead. Yes, thank you. They lost by 50 a week ago to the Dolphins. But Sean Payton, when did he do this? Why did he rip off his sleeves? What was the what was the story behind that? Because they were down 28-7, Dan. Yeah. And it was time for a change. Yep. And Little sometimes, yeah. you know, when the going gets tough, some people like to roll up their sleeves. Not Sean Payton. He'll just cut the sleeves off. Yep. I have not yet gotten to what I believe is uh, the story yesterday of all football stories, and I'm headed there, but one more. Who do you think had the single best feeling playing football yesterday? Just one person. You can only choose the feeling that that person had on Sunday uh, playing football in front of many, many people. If you can only choose one feeling for the day that you would like to know what that felt like what would you choose because i have in a game played by an uninteresting game played by a winless team i have two guys running down the field who i believe felt the best thing in a game they lost they are still winless the best thing felt by anyone in football yesterday really it's a 99 yard pick six that's the best feeling grabbing Kirk Cousins' <laughs> pass at the goal line and going. Yeah. But I want you to go back and look at that video because <laughs> right behind that guy, Stugatz, his teammate, number 29, I have no idea who this is, not only makes up all the yardage behind him, two steamrolled Kirk Cousins, who was trying to be gamey, gritty guy. Lined him up for like 50 yards, just lined Cousins L up. Lined yeah. Cousins up, but then after that also, gratuitously, it's already in the end zone, there's no need for this. He took out number 17 for the Vikings too, like just in the end zone, took him out with two blocks and, and showed amazing speed. I want to talk to whoever this person is and ask him about that play because it looked like Sunshine and remember the Titans at the end getting blocks running down the sideline. Perfect <laughs> cinematic theatrical blocks. No well, one I ever you gets were that. Say DJ Reed last night when he just sprinted past Patrick Mahomes. It must you must feel so free when you get to run that fast on a football field with no one touching you. That's what that's what pick beautiful. six guy got. It was beautiful. But you're saying the guy who lined up Kirk Cousins had a better time. I'm saying that that felt as good as a football player can feel. And any, so because, <laughs> because that guy is getting celebrated so much by his teammates today. To sprint 100 yards with your teammate, to take out their quarterback and their wide receiver totally gratuitously, but legally, in the end zone. It, they look like a movie shot the way that you would want to block people. He was so happy that Kirk kept pursuing. Like He was like, really? He's going to go through with this? Really? You're I kind of wanted to see what he was going to do, to be honest. What Kirk was going to yeah, do. wanted to see him try to, try to, to make, make the, the tackle. tackle. 